Hey guys, Sarah here from The Glitter Guy, and today we are going to make a cute little resin tray. I have this pink cellophane type, I don't even know if it's cellophane, this pink kind of paper that Jason tried to use on a different project and it did not work out. I'm gonna see if it'll make a cute little filler for a tray. So we're just gonna guess a lot because this looks like probably a lot of epoxy. I'm gonna pour half and then let it kind of like tack up. We're gonna put the little cellophane inside and then pour more later on. There's no need for that, it was just a little aesthetic. And I'm not even trying, you guys. So I want the bottom to be black so that it kind of like brings out the cellophane. Although I just almost ruined my whole life and made the top black. So this epoxy isn't technically a deep pour epoxy, but you can use it in, you want to use it no more than like three quarters of a pour at a time. So I'm just kind of helping it by pulling it to where I want it to go and letting it settle itself out. But we didn't pour enough to fill the whole tray. So the epoxy sometimes doesn't know what to do with itself. Scoot. All right, let's pop some of these bubbles and let this sit. All right. So I'm gonna let this sit for probably about an hour. And then we're going to see if it's tacky enough for our cellophane paper. Well, my fingers are just a wee bit sticky because I had to put my finger right in there and see if it's tacky. All right, so. This. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what it thought it was about to do. Come on now. It's like cling wrap, but staticky instead of clingy. So I want to make it all texturized. And now I'm just gonna put it in the epoxy and kind of like, oh, come on now. Make it stick there. Now that our epoxy is kind of set up, then I'm like leaving some air bubbles under there because that's gonna create like, hopefully like a, some texture. Dimension, I didn't mean texture, I meant dimension on that one. I suppose actually this, all of this stuff on the end can get saved for another project. So I'm just kind of going, and mind you, I have no idea what I'm doing, so there's that. But if this comes out well, <laughs> so you know what I'm doing, I'm just taking it to the edge and making sure that it's in the epoxy while the epoxy is sticky so that it sticks to it. I had no bubbles when I started, but it would appear that I've made some. But I think think that the way that they're being made, they're going to look really cool. All right, so I'm gonna leave this for a few hours and let this, and I didn't need gloves at all, and let this uh, completely, not completely, but harden a lot more. And then we're going to trim it up a lot better when it's less pulley outy and uh, pour another layer of resin over it. All right, I don't really know that it's quite the right time to do this, but I really wanna do it anyway, so. I just want to, I'm not gonna take the crinkly paper out. I'm just gonna trim it down as much as I possibly can and kind of just put it all inside. I got an even better idea. So we're gonna trim it down a little bit. We're gonna pour the epoxy, even though it's not gonna be trimmed as well as it, I wanted it to be. And then we're just gonna trim it afterwards. And uh, I can even sand the sides down if I need to of the tray. little bit more than halfway filled already. So I want the bottom to be pretty dark. So I'm going to put black in there and I was gonna put white in there to add like some more sparkle, but I forgot I have these color changing Leicas and I think that's what we're gonna do instead.
All right. Oh, I guess since we're here, we'll just make like a little divine or something. All right, so let's sit for a second. I see a few tiny little bubbles we're gonna get. So I'm going to let that sit. Not touch the alcohol for a little bit. Spritzer, I mean. And tomorrow we're gonna demold this and uh, hope that it came out really cool. I'm gonna see if I can remember to bring my Dremel. If not, I can still sand that down real easy and we'll demold tomorrow. It's the next day and I'm shedding still. Why am I still shedding? I always wanted to do that, but it would have been better with my nails on. Let's demold it. I haven't even demolded this yet and Jason's already talking crap about my lack of germination pad using. Mm, well, it's cured. I don't hate the bubbles, but the cellophane does look bomb, especially with that um, mica that we put in the background. I don't hate the bubbles, they're just not my favorite. The big ones, anyway. I made these when I put the cellophane on. That's air trapped under the cellophane. I guess we might as well just trim her up though, still too close to it. I don't want there to be a blooper of me just like slicing the tip of my finger off. <clears throat> I would not say that this was a fail project. I wouldn't necessarily say it was a prevail either, but I do agree that this is the better side. But I really do like this side still. It's just not, something's not working for me on that side, but this side's really cool. I could definitely just throw some handles here and uh, with my Dremel, if I ever bring it back, smooth out this edge, put it on risers and do a whole pour over. I'm gonna put cellophane in a lot more things. I hope you guys do also. I have no idea where Jason got the cellophane. I'm assuming Amazon because that's where we get everything. The mold definitely came from Amazon. The epoxy was from the glitter guy. Micah's from the glitter guy. If you guys haven't yet, definitely like and subscribe to our channel so you can always see all the cool things that come out and if I fail or prevail on my Wednesday craft. And I hope you guys had a great, uh, a great time.